Okay, after I got done with basic training, before I went to AIT training, which is where I learned how to do your job in the military, I went to airborne school where I learned how to jump out of planes. Yeah, I know. But it's a lot of fun. So, uh, you go through the training, you're doing all that kind of stuff, and this is during my second jump. This is this uh, incident happened during my second jump. My second jump was a full combat jump. Now, what a full combat jump means is that you have your parachute, which weighs, I don't know, it's, it's, it weighs a lot. You have your parachute back there. You have an 80-pound rucksack, which they weigh to make sure it's 80 pounds. You have an 80-pound rucksack that's attached to here. As you're falling, you're supposed to release it, and it drops down. you got your reserve chute right here, and then you have a weapons pack where you're putting your M16 rifle, okay? So this is what you're carrying during a combat jump. So I'm in the plane, we're in the, the, the it wasn't the C-130, the C-130 is the propellers, it was the jet one, I can't remember which one it was. So you're coming out, and I, I jump out of the plane, okay? Now when you jump out of the plane, they tell you to count to 4,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, etc. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, works just as well. So I jump out of the airplane, and they tell you at the end of 4,000, you're supposed to feel a tug, because that's the chute letting you know open it. So... I felt the tug, it, the wind was brutal that day, it was real windy that day, and I remember being sh shook around, so I felt the tug, and I thought, okay, and I noticed that my chute was below me, which didn't make sense to me, I thought, oh no, there's something wrong, you know, my, there's something wrong with my chute, that's below me, and then I thought to myself again, I kind of straightened up, and I thought, wait a minute, that can't happen, how can my chute be below me? It's open. This doesn't seem right. And so I turn my head back and I see the ground screaming up at me. Now, when you jump out of an airplane for airborne training, you're typically jumping anywhere from 800 to 1,200 feet. You can jump as low as 500. I don't remember where we were at that day, but we were somewhere between the 5 to 1,200 range, which isn't very high. So the ground is screaming toward me. I realize that I am upside down. I can't figure out what's going on, and then I realized that my chute has gotten tangled, um, the risers of the parachute has gotten tangled in my weapons gear. I'm thinking I'm going to die, because I'm falling upside down. I mean, at the, at the very least, I'm probably going to break my back or break my neck. None of the scenarios are good. So, I, I think, I start, I'm, and this is all happening in a matter of nanoseconds. It's taking me far longer to tell you this. And it actually takes the drop. And I think, let's go ahead and remove it. Let me try to slow my descent and I'll, I'll, I'll release my reserve chute. Well, the reserve chute's only, you know, there to, if your main chute doesn't open, since my main chute was open, I would have had to pull the reserve out and then thrown it behind my body to be able to get it to open. And I didn't think that was going to be a good thing because I was already tangled. So I'm shaking like a maniac trying to get, you know, the, my weapons pack untangled from my risers and I'm looking back and by this time my legs floundering I realize that you know the ground's just fast approaching so I'm, I'm trying to try and finally I'm, I'm reaching and I'm, I'm banging on my leg and I'm trying to get get it undone and just as I get this leg done undone and you gotta remember I'm falling upside down my legs are you know like this and I'm falling down just as I get loose my I flip over like this I flip over like this, and I land on my leg, and I snap my, my ankle, right above my ankle, my uh, tibia. And I hit the ground, and, and it hurt. And I'm laying on the ground, and like I said, it was really windy, and then this big wind gust came, and I started being drugged across the ground like this. I'm just, you know, you know I'm being drugged across the ground, as, and with my leg broken, my legs flounder and flopping up in the air, and all kinds of crap like that. And... Um, that's probably the um, uh, the second time, maybe the third. Yeah, because I've hit my head a few times. But that was the, the that was one of the times that I that I really thought that that I was going to die. Hope you all enjoyed the story. Thanks.